So let's talk about how to deal with text and an image or a picture in a document. Let's say that I'm in Microsoft Word and I have some text here. Text is this is my document or this is text in a document and then the next line says look at my apple. Well if I highlight that piece of text and I look at one of these tabs you'll see that it's in the font of Calibri. Well if I wanted to change it to a different font like Times New Roman I would just pick that and a font size which is a font is the text and there you go. Um, now I can let's say I want to highlight the word document to bold and maybe the word text to italicize and maybe the word this to underline. I can do it by clicking the item the text and then going ahead and clicking one of these commands. If I wanted to change um, this line here, look at my apple to maybe make it uh, size 14 and maybe diff pick Arial, which is a different font, I can do that. Um, I can also um, make it, if I want to undo something, I do that. I can also, um, <coughs> excuse me, change the size this way. Okay. Um, one interesting thing is, is that I can highlight the line of text, change the background to a different color, and there you go. That's actually the text itself, and this changes the background to maybe yellow. Now that's pretty, pretty bright. Now if I want to, I can take the word apple, um, strike through it with a strike through line, under, under a strike through. Um, if I don't want it, that to take effect, I can undo it. Um, this is interesting here because I can take and highlight a word and go to this tool, little tool here under the font tab, font section, which says sentence case, which is like first letter is, is capitalized and everything else is not. Or we can make it all uppercase. This is cool if you have something you want to make all upper or all lower, um, that kind of thing. Or toggle the case. That's kind of funny looking. It's going to flip it whatever it was. Okay, let's talk about this image here. Let's say I have a picture of an apple and I want to <coughs> do, do, do something with it. Well, I can go to, once I highlight the apple or the image, you'll see the picture tools pops up with the format. Um, now I can do various, I have, uh, I can adjust it, brightness, um, I can change all kind of things with it. I can go to go back to normal. I can go to contrast. Didn't do much of an effect. There, it's a little sharper there. All right, let's go back to normal. Um, if I click for once, I have the picture clicked or I the, the double click on the image. Um, now, way you get the image in here is you click insert and then picture and then you browse to it. Okay, and then you double click that item and it inserts it in here. Now let's say I go back to the format tab and I want to look at these styles. Let's say I wanted an oval. Boom. Click oval and there's my apples in oval. Or if I wanted to click uh, like a window type looking thing. There. And these have names. <laughs> oval. Usually if you highlight them. There we go. Beveled oval black. And what is this one? This one was... You kind of roll over your mouse reflective bevel black. Um, this one has a strong border. Okay. And so you can manipulate it any way you want to. Alright. Right click. If you right click it, you can actually um, the, the picture image. You can right actually change various settings here as well. Okay. Change the size. You can also change the size by dealing with the resize handles. By these resize handles over here, the sizing handles, and manipulate it as such. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Um, I just wanted to bring up some little things you can do with pictures, text, and have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Metters, Copyright 2011.